Archaeologists often shock the world with their discoveries. Some of the most beautiful and frightening things about the past were revealed by archaeological findings. The latest discovery in Pompeii has amazed us more than the rest. Welcome to the channel. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel for more content. There are multiple archaeological discoveries in Pompeii, but the latest sheds light on middle class life. The discovery was made in a forbidden chamber with four rooms filled with plates, amphoras, and other everyday objects. Eruption from the mountain caused volcanic debris, which covered the city. Pompeii's archaeological park remains one of the most visited sites in Italy. A series of excavations in the town began in 2018 when volcanoes destroyed the city in 79 AD. In the past few years, excavation mainly focused their research on the impressive, elaborately frescoed mansions of the upper-class citizens. However, an archaeological study in the city has focused on the lives of the middle class, servants, and enslaved people. The findings showed the furnishings and household objects. The house has one courtyard and an exceptionally well-adorned cistern. More resources are needed to decorate the five rooms in the house. One of the homes had an unpainted wall and an earthen floor, possibly used for storage. Archaeologists discovered a bed frame with bedding from the pillow in the bedroom. The bed resembles three others. A cot-shaped bed in another residence that suggests it was used as a storeroom and sleeping chambers for a family of enslaved people in Pompeii. Also, the remains of a wooden trunk with an open lid were discovered in one of the rooms. While the weight of beams and ceiling panels that crashed during the volcanic eruption significantly destroyed the trunk, other objects, including an oil lamp, were decorated with poor relief. Besides the oil lamp was a small, round table with three legs. A look into the storeroom showed a wooden closet. The backboard remained intact, but the shelves caved in due to wear and tear. Based on the structure of the closet, archaeologists believe the cabinet has more than three panel doors and stored cookware and dishes for the nearby kitchen. In addition, a large fragment of what resembles a translucent rimmed plate in stunning cobalt blue and emerald tints and a well-preserved incense burner resembling a cradle. Do you think archaeologists will make more shocking discoveries? Domenico Fontana was the first person to discover the ruins of Pompeii in the 16th century. However, Italian government officials began systematic excavation in 1738. The work in Pompeii started the modern science of archaeology. Most systematic studies were done by Karl Weber, a military engineer, between 1750 and 1764. But other digging occurred haphazardly and was perpetuated mainly by treasure seekers. Haphazard digging ended in 1860, when the Italian archaeologist Giuseppe Fiorelli became the excavation director. He divided Pompeii into nine regions. The blocks in each area were numbered and each door on the street. Giuseppe Fiorelli also created a technique of making casts of bodies by pouring cement into hollows shaped in volcanic ash. Between 1749 and 1782, in the proximity of Stabe and Gragano, 12 villages were discovered by excavations by Karl Weber. In the 20th century, the Villa of San Marco and its two extensive peristyle gardens and bath. The villa is the best preserved in Italy. However, Karl Weber and his team reburied most of the villas after excavation. But the Villa of the Mysteries persists. The excavations of the city reveal that the southwest corner is the oldest part. Archaeologists are crucial to finding the world's history, so we can learn about our past. Pompeii revealed many things about the past lives of its occupants before volcanic eruptions destroyed the city. If you've made it to this point, please like the video. Also, subscribe to the channel for more exciting content.